What is going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to try and pack a lot of stuff into one video. I've got some stuff to do on the car. We're having some clearance issues uh, at full lock. So we're going to go through, raise the car a little bit. One side's higher than the other. So I'm going to even it out and raise the, uh, the side that's lower. Then clear out some stuff, uh, hit some stuff with a hammer. Try and go ride my bike for a little bit today because I'm really stoked on doing that right now. Mow the lawn and take Raven grocery shopping. It's noon. I got a late start, but I'm going to try and accomplish all those things today. Uh, I'm not going to bring you along for the grocery shopping part because it's so intense that I'm not going to be able to film. Grocery shopping is crazy. Uh, and then I've been thinking a lot lately, like laying in bed at night, like thinking of different things to do for the channel and just thinking about maybe trying to like format it into specific things on specific days and trying to stay true to that. The only problem is it's just me and sometimes I can't fulfill those, those things on those days every day of the week. So um, I'm going to think about that throughout today's video and by the end of the video I'm going to throw something out there and then I want your guys' response in the comments. So let's get today started. All right, Tucker's here. You guys haven't seen him since Portland. But uh, we're gonna jack this thing up. This side needs to be raised a little bit. We gotta trim this little corner right in there. Gotta align the car, throw the toe plates on it. And that's the wrong one, you have to use that one. That's half inch. Um, just a couple things though to make it back. Check this out. Can you see that? It's out of focus. My head's loose. I'm about to... If I go to the track, I'm gonna fucking pull a hurt. I feel like some of you might point out the fact that I don't have a 651 Sport in the front right now. And that's because they are out of my size. The size I run in the front is a 235 40 17, And they are on their way here, but they're not here yet. And I need to put on some new front tires. So Njuku gave me some front tires to throw on the car for now. They're a little bit bigger actually. These are 245 40 17. But uh, as soon as those 651s come in, we'll be swapping them out for sure. So while Tucker is measuring the coil over, Height, I am going to cut out this section right there. You can see where the tire has been rubbing. Also the corner of the fender there. And then where it's shiny, right there on the frame rail. I'm gonna beat the shit out of that with a sledgehammer. So this little section's cut out. That should give us the clearance. It looks weird, I know, but you won't even notice that when the wheel's on. Still looks good on the sides. Beat the shit out of this. Brought it in probably, I don't know, an eighth of an inch, quarter inch. I don't even know if it's gonna rub there yet, but I figured it's a bigger tire, so probably. And we made our measurements. We're gonna raise this side of the car. Um, roughly three quarters of an inch and hopefully give us the clearance up here. All right, so while Caleb's on the phone, we took off this bracket here that holds this in place. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen these collars and that'll allow us to adjust the coilover.
So now, super easy, you can just spin the shock like so to raise it. All right, coilover has been adjusted. Uh, we put the uh, reservoir back on. Now all we gotta do is just snug up these collars and put the wheel on, see how it fits. So now that we've got our clearance issues figured out and we've got our ride height set in the front, we're going to go ahead and put tow plates on here. And tow plates, if you don't know what they are, um, basically they're just two flat pieces of aluminum and they sit like so, butted up against the wheel as tight as possible and you run a tape measure in the front, a tape measure in the back and you can check and see what your toe is. And you can tell by if it's zero, you'll have matching numbers on the back tape measure and the front one. We run uh, an eight inch toe out on each side of the front. Sometimes a 16th, depends on what the conditions are. But I think right now it's set an eighth inch toe out on each side. And then in the rear, it's an eighth inch toe in on each side. So we wanna basically make sure that we still have those those numbers. Um, it, I drove the car to the gas station. It felt like it was pulling to the right a little bit, which could mean that this side has a little bit more toe out and that side might have a little bit of toe in or this back right wheel, which I smacked super hard at park, could have been knocked out of alignment and towed out a little bit. So these all play a part. But these toe plates, they help a lot. There are better alignment, like self alignment kits. Uh, the Wonder Aligner that Matt Field uses is like a lot of money, but uh, that's the way to go. This does work though, and we're about to get this thing aligned and uh, good to go. Which one are you feeding me, top or, or back or front? Back. Okay. Okay, pull it tight. Both leading about 76 and 5.8. Both of them? Yeah, 76 and 5.8. Okay. Yeah. Got it? Almost. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, you're locked in. You're locked in? Yep. Yeah. 76 and 5 eighths. Yeah. Your plate's all the way flush with it? Yep. Got it? Are you going to top again? Yeah, top. Okay. You're locked in. I'm locked in. Alright, so we've got. 72 and 5 eighths. Okay. Right, so on the back. Hold on. Hold on. So on the back, I've got 72 and a half. And the front, I've got 72 and 5 eighths. All right, so we got everything set up in the rear. I'm just going to tighten down the toe arm and the back on the right side now because I've already done this side. It looks really cool under here though. I'm happy with how it looks under my car. Looks good. And now that we've set the ride height, did our alignment, we're going to drive it to the store and see if we fixed our 
cracking problem where it was pulling to the right a little bit. And if that's all fixed, we're gonna come back here, park it, I gotta mow the lawn. And then hopefully, if the weather holds up, go try and catch a BMX session. I don't know, it's been pretty cloudy all day, so we'll see. So I was gonna go try and ride. The car is 100% good, ready to go drifting. Thank you, Tucker. But some of you guys might not know that the backyard of my house is massive and we just spent like three hours mowing it with a push mower, like not a sit down mower. And it just, it sucked. And now I'm tired. And it looks like over in the distance where like the skate park is, it's gonna rain. So we were just clearing this and then behind, where the patio is so no riding today unfortunately but uh i am trying to structure something basically the way i was thinking about doing it is if you know if i uploaded five days a week you know monday would be a specific thing tuesday a specific thing wednesday a specific thing thursday friday and then i'd have the weekend or whatever so if that's something you guys are into i was thinking you know maybe one day is a strictly bmx day and then one day is a how-to video where, you know, I'm not building anything, but I can always take my car apart and reinstall something to show you guys how to do it. Uh, I am not a certified mechanic, but I did build my car, and my car is pretty reliable and really fucking badass. So, you know, maybe like coilover install, alignment. Um, I've done like how to build an AN fitting. We could do that again. Uh... I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you guys have questions about, I'm sure, uh, especially with suspension and alignment and shit that you guys can change on your cars without going out and buying some crazy expensive uh, product. So if that's something you're into, please let me know. Tucker has an LS240 that he's trying to build and he has a lot of parts. So maybe we could bring that car over here and build it here. If you guys are into that, let me know. What are you doing? Being super pregnant. You see the yard? Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Well, I mean, the half of it. I mean, we don't like go out. If I had to mow the whole yard, it would take three days. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Glad we got some stuff done on the car. And uh, I'm going to keep brainstorming on what to do with this channel. Peace.